Quilty is brought to you by APQS, Handcrafted Quilting Machines. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Hovel, when you need to cut it close, choose Hovels. Quiltology, the urban quilt space. Quilty. This is a bobbin without any thread on it. and you've placed your bobbin, okay? So that's your bobbin. When you want to thread your machine, you're gonna need thread, and you're going to place it on your spool uh, pin. Now, some machines want you to have your thread coming underneath, it's like toilet paper, you know, like over or under. This machine is happiest with the thread coming underneath, right? You could have it over over the top. It just depends on what your user's guide says. Mine, I know, likes it underneath. Okay, so the first uh, step in threading is once you have your uh, thread on, is you put your spool cap on. Always make your make sure your spool cap is a little bit larger than your spool of thread. Just helps keep things together. Just like the bobbin, I have a thread path that shows me exactly where I need to go. So. And it's the solid line on, on this machine. So I'm coming in at one, and I'm following it down. I'm coming back up. I come over here, here's number two. I'm going down into this little valley here. This is where all the magic happens with your thread. This is such a handy little number three. It says come up from there. This is the take-up lever. On a lot of machines you can see this, this is covered They've covered the take-up lever, but they have a window here, which is really helpful for you to see that your take-up lever is up. When you're threading your machine, always make sure your take-up lever is up, and you do that by the hand dial, okay? Make sure it's up, otherwise you'll always keep coming unthreaded. And you come down to number five, and number six is the little holder right above the needle. Now when you're threading your machine, most people will have, this is like the last step, where you then snip your thread, and thread your needle. And when you're snipping your thread off, snip it at an angle, because that gives you a nice point on your, on your thread. I usually give it a little lick. And you're ready to thread your needle, right? And you thread it like that. My machine, because it's amazing, has a needle threader. So after number six, I go up here to number seven and chop it off at number eight, and I push the lever, which is number nine, and it threads it. This is really cool, watch this. It just threaded it. I love that so much. <laughs> Thank you, baby lock. No, really, it's really great. Um, I mean, who wants to spend all day threading a needle? So I really like that function. Machines have them. It's not that rare or that expensive even to get a machine that has a self-threader. Uh, I really like it. So once you've gotten your machine threaded and your bobbin is ready to go, you are ready to do a stitch. Brian, could I have a piece of fabric, please? Yes, you may. Thank you very much, so nice, thank you. And I like the fabric too, look at that. So you would put a piece of folded fabric or two pieces of fabric together. Close your little top here, place your fabric underneath. If you sew a stitch and there, it's really wonky on the bottom, it's probably a problem with the top threading. If your stitch looks really funny on top, it's probably the bobbin. So if your stitch looks weird, go back in and figure out what it is you might have done, you know, a step you might have missed. Another reason I love this machine, it has a self-cutting mechanism. It cuts the thread for me. I know, it's great. So let's take a look at my stitch. The length looks pretty good on top. The length looks pretty good on the bottom. It's not like making the fabric pucker, so it's not too tight. Uh, it looks really even. 
and I think I'm ready to get sewing. So that's how you do your bobbin, and that's how you thread your machine. I hope it helped you. Even though some of the parts may be different, the mechanics are the same, the physics are the same. So go slowly, look at your manual. Don't assume that you did something right because you might be doing it wrong. Just start at the beginning and take it slow. You'll figure it out, and the more you do it, the better you'll be at it. Okay, thanks for joining us on Quilty. Quilty is brought to you by APQS, Handcrafted Quilting Machines. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Hovel, when you need to cut it close, choose Hovels. Quiltology, the urban quilt space.